So I really like these cold saws that they have now, cut metal. But an issue I didn't see when I bought it was that it makes a real mess. And it's not exactly that it, it puts out like a lot of dust or anything. It puts out chips, which just fly everywhere. And I always, every time I use it, I find it melted into my hair. Or, you know, I move a motorcycle around and then they're in the tire of the motorcycle, stuck in there, and they get in my dog's paws. And I just can't take it anymore. I, I pretty much stopped using it because I just don't like cleaning up after it. Uh, but my plan is now, plan going over, uh, my plan is now to make like a container box. So, I'm going to take some aluminum, I'm going to kind of surround the bottom with aluminum, with the handle coming out, and then we're going to make kind of a cover for it. And the first thing I have to do though is actually make the bottom with the holes to get the parts I need to cut in and out. Got the aluminum pieces cut. Uh, this is the hole on this side, and then I had to cut into it this far when I was making it to have it go 45 degrees. Like that. Um, it's just all tacked together. We're going to weld it, everything lined up right, so it's good to go. So once I get this welded, we can start working on the. I'm going to make some like. Uh, I'll probably use leftover vinyl for motorcycle seats but because I have a lot of it. But I'm going to make like some uh, fingers in here uh, to keep the chips from coming out of these holes. And then I'm going to see how much more of that vinyl I can find to make a cover that goes over the top. But that's how it's looking right now. So this is how my setup works to weld, uh, weld, weld this. I usually use it to weld fuel tanks. Um, this is just a little adjustable bracket here that goes up and down and on here is a drawer slide so when I'm using the torch just hold it in one spot and it'll basically follow along right where I need it to be so that's how that's going to work and this is 6061 aluminum and I'm welding it with a uh, 16 to 4043 raw um, and it's going to be on pulse so it's actually pretty easy. Okay, that's the first one down. Now we're just going to weld the rest of it. All right, now that I got the welding done on it, I'm starting to make these, which are just, uh, I took about three different pieces of vinyl. I cut them at different lengths and widths. So this will have something to where the metal can poke through. And hopefully it will uh, keep the chips inside the box. And then I'm going to make another one for this side right now. And this is just some marine, um, you know, vinyl like you'd use for a motorcycle seat. Hopefully it will, uh, I'm hoping that the, the little things, if they're hot, they won't melt into it on the soft side. So we'll see how that works. But that should keep the, uh, the chips from just shooting out the side of it. This is how the side of the top cover is going to look, cut out. There will be one on each side sewn in, and then I'm going to try and put a piece of this uh, clear vinyl I have left over for math pockets in the front so I can see what's going on. So there's the bag, basically. It's going to get velcroed on the inside of the box so the chips don't come out. And i got to make a hole for the handle and a hole for the, the vent for the motor right here. I'm also going to sew this again like I did the other side. That's how it's starting to look pretty good. We're getting there. Here's how the cover looks on it. So I got the motor sticking out here and the handles out. So, and then it's all been velcroed in around and I sewed the velcro on. And it's just adhesive to the aluminum. So, pretty much ready to try it now. Uh, my one concern is these things getting sucked into the blade, but I guess we'll just see what happens. I cut them shorter than the other side, so maybe it'll be okay. Alright, so we'll test it now. Got a piece of angle iron in it. I 
I maybe saw like one piece, little piece, followed over there on that side, but uh, nothing came out over here. And one piece sitting here. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. A little more work on the uh, the sides of it, and I could probably get all of it in there.